How's it going guys? I'm super excited about today's video. In fact, I'm so excited I could run sprints around the block. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. That's right guys, this video is about the Flash logo. The other day I got a comment from Mauer. I've done a previous video um, for Mauer before. And that video was about how to take away a ripple effect from certain keys. You guys can check out that video right here. This time Mauer wants to know if I can replicate the uh, Flash logo on a keyboard. And I'm happy to say that I can do this video and we're gonna sprint right into it. So let's go. All right guys, so just pulling up a Google image search on the Flash logo. I'm probably going to be doing something that's a little more similar to the old school Flash logo, something red and white and yellow. But if you wanna do the, the newer school, you just gotta change your colors up a little bit. All right, so we got our keyboard here. And we're going to start out with a just like uh, a regular wave red on the bottom. So we're going to select all of our keys. We're on a wave. We're going to go to a three tone wave right here. Uh, center color here. We're going to pick red. I like it. Uh, maybe just drop the color down just a little bit so that it's not overpowering the actual logo. <clears throat> uh, drop that color down a little bit. We're going to copy this hex code. We're going to go to our left node and we're going to double click and paste our code in there. And we're going to do the same to this side. Oh, actually, before you go to the other side, make sure you drop this down a little bit. That way we have um, some shade in our wave. So drop this down a shade or two, make it a little bit darker. Copy this code again and we're going to paste this code over here copy paste it right here in the hex code all right so that looks good uh we're going to change our speed down a little bit i don't want it to be too fast probably go to 10. uh everything else is pretty much good you can change it whatever direction you want i'm just going to stick with the 90 degrees hit save so right now we have our red background on our keyboard and <clears throat> it's just gonna set up uh, basically the background of the logo um, so now we're gonna go ahead and work on our white circle and I'm just gonna select some middle keys here and I'm gonna hold control and and deselect some keys to kind of get more of a circular shape here maybe something uh, maybe something a little more like this something a little more like this and I'm gonna basically keep this same uh, three-tone gradient but I'm gonna change it to a white color. I'm gonna drag this down. This is gonna be a brighter white. I'm gonna go with a really bright white here. It'll help the uh, yellow stand out a little bit. Uh, go to my left node here, drag this down, and just go with a, a lighter shade of white or gray, if you will. And we're gonna copy that code, paste it into our back node here. Paste that gray code in here. Good, just like that. You can change the angle up if you want. I think I will change mine. I'm gonna change mine to go the other direction just to counter the other background, just kind of give it some flash, no pun intended. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna hit save. <clears throat> okay, so there we go, guys. We got our red background, white circle. All we have left is the, uh, the Thunderbolt, and we're gonna make this one a little bit different than the others. However, I am going to have to simplify the lightning bolt a little bit just because of the amount of keys I have here to work with. I'm going to hold control and select my lightning bolt. I'm going to do uh, alt. I'm going to do the, these keys here. Yep, 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 yep. Something like this and that. So this is going to be my lightning bolt. You can even choose the uh, Razer logo down here if you want to have that in your lightning bolt. I'll, I'll throw it in there. Why not? So this is going to be yellow, of course. Uh, I did say I'm going to change this one up a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to add a mul a multi pattern here. So seven nodes, and <clears throat> now I'm basically going to set this up on the right side where it has. 
I'm going to basically set these right nodes up as the three tone wave that I was doing with the background and the white. So I'm going to set this up with yellow. This is going to be yellow. Uh, and so my left node here is just going to be a version of yellow, but it's going to be darker. Okay. So I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste that one over here. And so you can see on this right side, I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger, stretch it out a little bit. So my, uh, the large majority of my right side is yellow. These notes over a bit more. Okay. So the, you can see like maybe two thirds of my gradient bar is yellow. Uh, this one right here, I'm going to actually cut off with black, cut it off. And then I'm also going to do some more yellow. I actually have one too many nodes here. So I'm going to click on this one and delete it. And I'm going to make this one yellow and then this one black. What this is going to do is kind of add like a, a flash right before your lightning bolt comes on. So it's kind of like lightning. Okay. So yes, yes, just like that. So we have black, yellow, black, dark yellow, going into a bright yellow and back into a dark yellow. Okay. So basically just going to see a flash of yellow and then uh, yellow for a little bit. Good with that. Uh, speed is good, but we're going to want to change our percentage up quite a bit. Uh, we're going to go 999 on our width percentage. And we're going to angle this down. I'm going to angle it. I'm going to get crazy here. I'm going to go this sort of an angle, maybe 225. 224. All right. So. There you have it. I'm going to change my speed up a little bit. Maybe. Save. All right. So now we have a red background and a white circle and you got your flash logo, basically making a, a little lightning bolt pattern down the middle. Now it would be like my rendition of this uh, logo on a Razer keyboard. You can mess around with the effects as much as you want. For example, in this little clip right here, I replaced the wave effect with a fire effect for the flash logo. You can do all sorts of things like this. Just play around with the program. There's so much you can do with it. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any designs in mind that you want to see on your Razer keyboard. I'd be plenty happy to take a stab at whatever design you guys have in mind. So um, you can get a hold of me on social media accounts, Instagram, Twitter, and you can even find me on Twitch four days a week. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.